Many creatures you may encounter in the great outdoors have the potential to pose risk or harm. From many of the comments I received from you subscribers out there, help me realize the potential many of these creatures may actually possess. I'm Alex, the host of The Great Outdoors. Today I want to introduce you to a species of caterpillar. It's the largest wasp species I've ever featured on this channel. These things are serious. As many of you know, I take some serious things. One person writes, you are going to get people really hurt by making it seem like these wasps don't really hurt. I still have my scar from 30 years ago. Such as the Metricus wasp, red paper wasp, Plessis exclaimants, honeybees, harvester ants, fire ants, the velvet ant, ah. Florida spider wasp, yellow jackets, the June beetle wasp, and thread wasted wasp. My response was, I really hope not. I believe people have an inherent fear of wasps, bees, snakes, and spiders. So much it causes hundreds of millions of these very important insects and creatures to be mass killed, which is truly sad. That is why I am showing the world what it means to not have fear, but to have compassion. You won't get that on most mainstream channels, not trying to say any names. <laughs> Oh my god, that hurts so bad. Well, this is a black racer. Hey, buddy, we're friends, trust me. If you would and truly do care about us, consider watching my last video, Be Spiracy. It is my most important video I've ever produced. I think it could help a lot of people, but I can only touch one person at a time. Hopefully, you will be one. He's, oh, I was about to say calm down, but he really just still wants to get away. Now, this is uh, the size to which they are about as fast as they'll be. As you can see, I've been bit several times and the pain is basically minimal. He's not happy about this. I don't want to stress him out too much. Unfortunately, this guy lives in an urban environment, which is not good. He's not happy, is he? All right, let me, uh, let me put him over here in the bushes. I'm going to let him go. The pain ranges greatly from barely more than a pinprick of the thread-wasted wasp to a five or six of the cow killer. Each thing is unique and yet similar. Pain is immediate, like a hot ember. A year had passed since I was stung by the cow killer when I decided to truly explore these painful encounters. Deeper research left me with more questions than answers. I mentioned briefly some of the wasps, ants, and bees that I received their sting. As of right now, here in Florida, the cow killer still reigns queen of sting. I never encourage anyone to put themselves into harm's way, but I always encourage everyone to follow their dreams. Wildlife is my passion, and I hope you all will join me in this mission of understanding things that require more explanation. Conservation is so crucial. I had this man forge me a ring out of solid steel to act as a token or a reminder to the importance of my mission I started early this morning. <laughs> What's your name? I'm David. David, I'm Alex. With so many things running through my mind, most nights I don't go to sleep till after 2 o'clock in the morning and rise typically with the sun. Hopefully this ring will be a reminder as to the importance of everything we're doing here at the Great Outdoors. Check it out, see if that meets your approval. It looks good. That looks so cool. I'll be playing it back and forth at home all of it every week now. Thank you all so much. Here's a sneak peek. I'm Alex, the host of The Great Outdoors. Today, inside of this little capsule, I have caught a wasp species. You're a very important species. Everyone wants to save the planet. I know we can do it. We, we are, are the many. Welcome, Welcome to, to the, the colony. colony. Together we have the power to improve our planet. Don't ever underestimate it. The tools are right in front of us. It's your heart and mind at your fingertips. And now we have the connections. We're building a team with a mission. All about conservation. Communication around the earth only takes seconds. Together we will change this planet. All this talk about extinction. So many good reasons to listen. Our existence. Grow a garden and reduce your dependence. 
put native trees and flowers in it. Bees and butterflies pollinate them. Seeds fall and create new plant seedlings. These plants take in carbon and create oxygen. That is a step towards a solution. That is your power in action. Making a difference, you have our support, friend. Thank you for every moment you listen. If you choose to, thank you for your subscription. I put everything into this content. It's our one and only planet. All the support, I truly appreciate it. Your love alone makes it worth it. I've been stung over a dozen times. I'm not sure how many different places. By over a dozen different species, most with similar reactions. We must respect these bees for pollination. A little sting that is nothing. That's just their form of protection. We live in a colony. Are we really that different? New videos here every Thursday. That is my commitment. If you have the power to do something positive, you have the responsibility to do it. Well, I said it. I guess I'm obligated. I convinced myself and I'm excited for the changes. We need to be self-aware and stop waiting for legislation. Because growing more food means less pesticides to produce it. Which means more pollinators like bees will not be affected. Growing our own food means an opportunity for you to teach a child what real food is. Because growing food for you means less fuel for transporting it. More food for you means less greenhouse gases. More food for you means less pollution and fertilizer in our water systems. Welcome to the great outdoors, friends. Let's make a difference. Be sure to press the link right down here in the bottom corner. Or if you want to see more sting videos, click on this one. Or this is the one that YouTube said was best suited for you. Hopefully we'll see you again right here in the great outdoors. I'm your host Alex, the Florida Wildlife Guy.